hello again. Uh, welcome to second day of Security Summit. I'm the host. My name is Adis. I'm the host of the Sherlock Holmes Hall. Uh, our next session is uh, uh, from Suprema. Uh, thanks to Mr. Cyril Odiu. Uh, he will speak today about Suprema access control application cases, education, healthcare, fitness group, and shared office. Uh, his technical support lead engineer in Europe at NAF at Suprema. Uh, I'm quite sure that we will have very interesting topic to hear from Mr. Cyril. Yesterday was very, very good. Today we will be much better, hope so. <laughs> so Mr. Cyril, uh, you may now proceed. The stage is yours and good luck. And I just want to note, if you have any question, please share in, in chat option or provide on my email. See you soon. Stage yours, Mr. Silver, and thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, so hello, everyone. Uh, so I am in charge of uh, technical support for uh, Suprema since uh, uh, two years now, before I was working for uh, distributors and installer and integrator in uh, security and uh, electrical businesses. And I'm glad to uh, take time to explain you how we can use uh, Suprema devices in some use cases, not all use cases, because we have uh, lots of uh, type of uh, vertical businesses like uh, construction site and, uh, and industries and everything but i would like to focus on some of them but first let me show you what we are going to speak about so i i would like first to uh, just make a short brief about what is centralized system and what is distributed systems but only explain that there is not only two ways to work I need also to make a short focus on credentials because we need to know uh, what type of credential we can use. Then I will explain more in details centralized option uh, provided by Suprema. I will do the same for distributed. And then I will go on um, some sectors like uh, education, healthcare, fitness, and I will uh, finish my presentation with some uh, customer application and uh, you will see that we are um, make lots of uh, things in uh, access control all over the world. So first, uh, I will do like uh, yesterday meeting. So uh, sorry for people who has already seen it. I just want to focus on some uh, part about Suprema. So Suprema is a South Korean company, which is a focus in uh, security and biometrics. We are established since, uh, as you can see, uh, 20 years now, and we are good rank in access control market, but also in biometrics for EMEA market since many years, and European territories for uh, our whole business is around uh, 24%. I am based in Paris. We are uh, focused for all uh, European territories from uh, Greece, uh, Turkey, North uh, Nordics, but also Russian and uh, North African territories. What we provide is always a good sales contact because we have we are in the same time zone, mostly. You can get direct support also. You have uh, 24 months warranty for device, and we can uh, ship it really quickly since we have a, a whole warehouse with uh, all devices available. We can provide end-to-end -end solution for access control and time attendance. This is our main market, what we are uh, here together today to speak about. We have also a second market, which is uh, Biosign, which is biometrics um, algorithm we sell for a smartphone most of the time all uh, Samsung S10 and S20 is running with uh, this uh, algorithm. Also, we provide uh, since um, some years now, some uh, remote and contactless solution for a credit card, but also to manage access control. 
as you can see, we have a full end-to-end -end access control on time better than solution for both distributed and centralized solution, but also software, peripheral, and credentials. But let me first uh, make a short brief about centralized and distributed solution. As you can see, we have a main difference. In one case, all doors need to be uh, connected to a single um, door controller, or you can use in distributed one intelligent reader, which manage everything. Your door needs door contact, electric strike, reader, and exit button, or second reader. In one case, you have lots of cable who need to go back to your control panel. In the other case, all could be done near the door. As you can see, centralized is really simple to replace. If tomorrow we need to replace a centralized system by another centralized system, it will be really simple. We remove reader, door controller, we change it, and it will work. This is why we are always addressing uh, some market. As you can see, one core station could manage uh, 52 doors with a single reader for each door. I will explain and review it uh, later. In case of distributed solution, it's more convenient if uh, you have already some uh, Ethernet wiring, because if reader is PoE, you can directly power reader from PoE. You have only, you will need only uh, extra extra power supply for locks. But today we know uh, world is not uh, as simple as we would like, so we offer also the same solution, but with uh, some doors in the company will be managed in uh, centralized sky cases and other door could be managed by uh, distributed devices. This is what we can do, for example, for an old site, which is uh, centralized. We will remove centralized system and add a new core station in spite of the old door controller. But for new doors, we can use distributed reader. And all this will be able to be managed with the same software by your start to and will be able to be connected to third party system from API. Credentials. What type of credential we can use? Today you can see that we have uh, more and more credential available from QR code, RFID card, mobile, biometrics. Let me first focus on this uh, QR code. A QR code is a small image which contains some information like a card number or text, and we can read it from a reader and get access granted. We provide secure QR code, which means that uh, if you try to read the QR code, which is on the phone, it will display not a card number, but a, a specific uh, name or letters that will be uh, translated by the reader. How we can use it? The main goal of QR code today is to manage visitors or to manage employees which come from the first time at the company, newcomers. They can get uh, their um, card after a first process with a QR code and then they will get a card to get normal access every day. We will use Superma X station device in this case. If we speak about RFID card now, as you can see, RFID card is a, a really old technology. We use it since many years, but it is a change from a sweeping card to uh, some Wigan card, then MyFair Classic, multi-class uh, card from HID and also uh, EV3 Desfire card. So Desfire EV3 was released uh, this year in um, 2020. Um, and we are still uh, fighting to work with only Desfire card to get security. As you can see, 
this card is really old and unsecure, but if you use this fire card, you get some secure card. Counterpart is uh, cost will be not the same. If you use unsafe uh, card, it will be low price, but if you would like to ensure more security level, the price will be higher. But for sure, if you are using some uh, um, I-class or my fair desfire, class, uh, desfire card, it will be better to ensure security for biometrics. And we are now moving uh, to mobile credential also. Since we do not want to have a, a plastic card um, to uh, get access granted or access denied. Today, lots of users are using their own smartphone also to pay. So why not get access uh, control inside your phone? It will, solve, it will also save uh, cost. You can use it in two ways, uh, depending of your need, dynamic or regular. I can explain it more deeper. Um, it depends on how you are going to run uh, this mobile card. You can uh, get your own design, so you can have a brand image on your card, which is on your phone. We can add it small uh, devices on uh, all MyFair reader to get uh, it working with uh, this mobile card. Or we can use wearable uh, like uh, Android uh, uh, devices or uh, EOS. And as you know, biometrics will be the next. Biometrics will be always what you are it's not like a card, which is something you have in your hand, or a pin code, something you have in your brain. This is why we are focused on fingerprint, because with fingerprint, we can go, go deeper and make a really secure template, which contain all information from reach and core and delta from your uh, finger. We do not store... Oh, inside a card or database image, we store template, so numbers. For face, we are working on face since uh, 10 years now. This first device is discontinued uh, since some years now, and we have introduced uh, during the past year some uh, new devices, face station two, face light, and face station F2 last year. All the time, this device is a bestseller. And as you can imagine, we may uh, release something in two years now. Because cost is now a, not an issue uh, for devices. Uh, it's like the same price as a fingerprint devices, mostly. So it's as speed and as performant as fingerprint. But this is face, so this will be something which is uh, touchless. Uh, and with new technology, we can increase performance. We can use it also with mask and glasses, but also we can uh, check uh, or detect abnormal body temperature, for example. This will help to uh, answer our complex problem or complex world coming today. Let me go a little bit deeper now on centralized details uh, from Suprema. We are able to provide you uh, a, a Suprema intelligent biometric controller. It means that we can store inside the device biometrics. You can uh, imagine everything is inside this uh, controller. It's, a, it's mostly unique on the market. Our door controller could manage four door and store uh, lots of users. We can go to uh, 58 doors. Uh, 132 is when we are using Vigant, but Vigant is not uh, secure enough. So uh, we need to uh, forget it in the near future. 
on each part of the core station, you will find uh, all, all what you need. So RS485 reader connection, power, but also Wigand, uh, LED and BIP connection, but also input for door sensor and exit button, and also the relay to uh, ask the door to be open. For this device, we have uh, created um, a dedicated device for RFID, but also fingerprint. As you can see, we have BER2, which is a fingerprint reader, which is get nothing inside the reader. Every, every time you put your finger, it will request uh, your finger authentication to the core station. All devices are ready to work outside and they can manage also uh, all type of card. But it, we say it's a biometric controller. So we are able also to manage fingerprint, but also face. And that's not the end because we need also some peripheral to uh, add more doors or manage elevators. So we can add a DM20, which is uh, allow to manage uh, two doors. We can add also OM120, which is mostly used to um, manage elevators, but we can uh, use it to manage uh, some uh, room spaces for each users. And we provide us also SecureIO, which is uh, which the goal is to manage one door relay with inputs per door. We have also an enclosure, which is able to get inside one core station or two cards for OM120. Let me show you briefly how you can uh, um, set up eight doors and a core station. As you can see, we have one DM20, which is running uh, four doors but also Fodor is running directly on the core station and everything will be connected on the core station or on the DM20. In fact, when we speak about capabilities, we think always what we can do, what we can achieve with a biometric controller. Our biometric controller will be able to uh, reach eight finger at the same time or five face. This is why we always recommend to do not go upper than eight fingerprint devices or five or five face devices. As you can see, we, we can uh, think distributed will be uh, more simple or more complicated. It will depend on your mind, how you have uh, used to make some access control system we will provide you a full device lineup product with fingerprint, QR code reader, face, peripheral, and also RFID readers. It will help you and to find the right way. As you can see, we have POE device, we have uh, outside device, we have live finger detection devices to, um, to if you need more security on your system. And we have also face device for outside. But when we speak about intelligent reader, we need to uh, connect on the reader directly. Input for door control, so um, door position, but also uh, exit button, or we can choose to directly connect two reader, one slave reader to the master reader to open the door. But this is a, a simple way to work, but we can ensure more security by using Secure.io. In this case, reader will be outside, but uh, relay and input will be inside the room you need to secure. No one can open the door by just uh, playing with wire coming from the reader. Since I have tried to make a short brief about all the things we can provide you. 
let me go a little bit deeper in what we have already done. Um, and I would like to introduce some uh, specific cases. Uh, and the first one will be education. For education, mostly we need to manage a main door entrance for checking presence from students. Most of the time they are using running turnstile, but also they will need to manage some specific doors uh, to restrict access like uh, chemical, uh, chemical lab or uh, electrical lab. Mainly they are used to play with cards because it's um, like a corporate uh, culture, but for this university. We are used to manage lots of users, and this user is um, changing every two, three, four, five years for students. And we, are, we need to be able to work with all readers available on the market. This is why mostly this type of uh, user would like to use a centralized system with cards. But we see since one year now, Lots of projects coming with mobile credential because people does not want to have a, a card. We lose it, we, we miss it uh, at home. So our smartphone, we always have it on our door. One example I would like to show you is Vin University, which is in uh, Hanoi in Vietnam. Uh, there is a lots of users, 3,000. They would like to work with uh, Core Station and XPath D2, and they are using some uh, BioStar software, but also third-party systems. So they are using uh, IPI to get uh, all information to their own systems. Uh, it means that all users will be um, included inside BioStar from their Archer system. The second project uh, we have done, main one, is uh, some university in Turkey we, where they are uh, using uh, turnstile on all, uh, all doors. But in this case, uh, it was uh, two turnstile uh, on one gate, two turnstile on another gate. So mainly they are using uh, some distributed readers, but for uh, building, it was centralized. So let me think about healthcare needs now. <clears throat> needs will be not so far. They need to uh, manage uh, visitors uh, at the main gate entrance um, because lots of people is coming inside and outside to see uh, people uh, on the hospital but we need to be more um, secure for uh, surgery and drugs warehouse. So this is why they mainly would like to use biometrics. Uh, number of user will be not so um, big, but visitor will be high. This is why they would like to uh, check visitors at the entrance. And for sure, they would like to be as possible and and three solution, but also thermal check. In this case, we think distributed system with face or QR code reader will be interesting. Fitness and shared office have some difference because mostly we would like to manage a single door, mostly, but we will need also to be able to move partition to enlarge office. So it means if we have done a, a centralized system, we need to uh, unwire and rewire everything. But with distributed solution, we will need uh, to get uh, all devices really quickly. The second point, people would like to manage uh, in these specific cases, uh, all users with email registration, but also visitors. And they would like also in, care, in case of monthly fee to connect validity card to this uh, monthly fee. 
Uh, this is why we always, uh, most, we mostly have seen uh, in the past um, distributed devices with fingerprint or card, but now they are moving strongly to mobile card and QR code reader. The second point, which could be a, a good thing, is to be able to give a long range gate opener for car park, for example. Today, we will need to, to use a specific device with a specific tag on the car, but now with Bluetooth on mobile card, we can uh, uh, send a command from the phone to open this uh, specific reader uh, around five to 10 meters. It will depend. So first point was email registration. No, no people at the entrance to check who is going on inside the building, who is going out the building. For both users, which is uh, used to come in every day, but also for visitors with QR, to, QR code reader. The main project uh, we can focus on could be doc project. My uh, colleagues Artem will display this uh, project tomorrow and we'll explain more deeper what we have done for this project. Let me speak about other projects we have in uh, our market, like uh, industrial for Bosch Global, for example. We have uh, made for them since many years now um, <clears throat> um, uh, factories in Turkey where they are uh, creating devices for Bosch groups. So they have a lot of uh, employees, uh, 10,000. And they would like to use specific reader like uh, ledger reader, Edesco, but also uh, under reader. Um, this is why we provide them some uh, core station and bio station too. This device helps them to be focused on uh, all people are coming on the company and workers do not, does not have any issue to come in. <coughs> For the second project, it was um, City Development uh, Limited Company. Uh, we managed um, less uh, user, but it was um, um, an existing building. So this is why we are mostly using core station and OM100 because we manage elevators also. For airport, we can manage also access control with um, RFID, but also fingerprint, depending of uh, security level, which is needed. This is in, uh, in Cheong in Korea. We can also provide some uh, core station for uh, access control and time attendance because um, it was also uh, a huge building, which is already existing. So it was more easier to uh, revamp uh, this installation. But we have also done some works for embassy, not only Italian, but uh, lots of them. And they would like to use uh, intercom. So this is why we are using uh, some specific device uh, like BioStation A2, which allow you to create a SIP intercom. Uh, they would like to use fingerprint, but also card for some users. For some industrial companies, we also use um, access control on car station because they would like to have uh, everything inside. Uh, each site will have a car station with everything inside. If a remote site does not uh, get internet or does not get VPN connection to the headquarter, it will run because car station get inside all credentials. And now let me finish with a specific uh, and, and maybe for some of them a strange uh, uh, customer application, which is a football club. We have done lots of projects uh, for English uh, um, uh, league uh, champion uh, uh, seat like uh, Leicester um, since many years now. It, 
and it's still expanded on uh, other uh, Champions League also. Uh, let me show you briefly what we, it was done with this short video. So taking the in and out data that the fingerprint system provides us, we, we can use this with our access control system to work out how long a specific employee has been at work. And from that, using a simple calculation, we can ensure that they get the right pay for the right hours that they've worked, ensuring the safety of everybody within the stadium. When we embarked on this journey initially, we wanted to use a system that we could integrate with our existing access control system, as opposed to setting up a completely separate and at arm's length system around the stadium. So we spoke to Johnson Controls and looked at what was on the market. Suprema came to us because ease of uh, registering the users, ease of use on the machines, they're very simple, they're quite appealing to the eye. And also the ability to take the raw data that comes out of the reader and use it in several roles. So currently it's pay, but then we will expand it going forwards into um, other functions here and at our new training ground facility. So the main advantage to us of the Suprema system was its expandability going forwards. So what we are now starting to do is incorporate biometrics with access control into staff areas. Obviously, when we first started with the system, we had to consider the implications of GDPR. We produced a small letter to all users, and basically when they initially gave their, their first images, it spelled out that the club would retain the data specifically and only for the purposes of pay and or access control, that the data would be retained in-house on Leicester City Football Club servers, and that they of course had the right not to take part, not to give their image. I'm Damien Moore, I'm the Regional Sales Manager for Johnson Controls. So the complexity of the installation, as you can appreciate with a 32,000 capacity Premier League football stadium, I think one of the main reasons ourselves at Johnson Control chose to partner with Suprema on this project was the support both around the installation and from a project management point of view. The benefits of working with Suprema on the Leicester City project is now evident to Johnson Controls as a business that Suprema can integrate now with many of our core products. We saw the video. Uh, thank you, thank you for that. So, uh, I have only a... point I say yeah, after yeah, the video is uh, that um, first request from uh, Leicester was about who is inside uh, the stadium, and uh, need we need to know precisely who is inside, but also we will need to pay them for the time they have be inside the stadium. This mm -hmm. is why the first request uh, was done to Suprema, because with biometrics, as you know, we could not say it, we could not check it uh, for uh, another people. So this is why they come uh, first um, to us, because it was so simple for them to uh, create user in Biostar and add new user and manage uh, some information for time attendance. This is uh, the first coming inside, and now they are uh, thinking to uh, get a Suprema device uh, for also access control for uh, training center and uh, lots of other sites. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you again. I, I have one question for you, Cyril. Yeah. Um, uh, what role does the access control play as the line of defense when it comes to IoT security? To IoT security? Yeah. Um, so uh, we, we have two concerns for access control. The first one is about uh, European regulatory uh, for uh, personal data. This is the first concern. The second one is uh, security for the software. So this is uh, more about um, certification uh, ISO 27001, uh, which is about cybersecurity. What I can uh, explain on both is that we have set, we get already certificate. Uh, we can, we could be uh, GDPR compliant for European territories, but not only for uh, European territories, because 
uh, for example, uh, Turkish uh, people is now asking to get also privacy. So they are more asking for biometrics on card. So this is the first way how we can be secure. The second way is how we encrypt data in Biostar, but also in uh, controllers and readers. Everything will be encrypted in database, but not also in database, but also in readers for um, template, card. Uh, all personal data will be encrypted. You will not be able, if you get a device, to see uh, inside the memory who is there. You will see a number, maybe, a number one, which is uh, me, for example, in Biostar services, but you will not be able to retrieve my name inside the device. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. I hope that the participants are satisfied with your answer. Um, I didn't have more questions for you. If you have something to add at the end, uh, if you some missing or would like to uh, maybe just say hi, hi to all participants. Uh, yeah, please. Uh, let, uh, let me explain. Um, we, we try to uh, do lots of uh, case study and display to our new uh, um, commerce, but as you can understood it will be really difficult for some uh, um, for some company to share that we have done lots of things with them uh, for example we we work a lot for data center but it will be for us really difficult to say oh we have done uh, this project with uh, all this uh, data center and they are uh, pleased to use it because this is more security reasons they do not want to share this information but we are involved since many years in uh, data center for uh, a big partner in, uh, in US territories, but also European territories. And what we can uh, see since um, two, two years is that people is mostly moving uh, from card to mobile card and they are requesting a lot for uh, visitor management. They do not want anymore uh, some visitors we, inside the building without any uh, information on it. Uh, and it includes also hospitals. This is why I speak about a QR code for healthcare center. Okay. I will definitely recommend my friends that owner of fitness center. Mm -hmm. So, so Ciro, thank you very much once again. Thank you all of you that uh, join us at Suprema presentation. Uh, you can find Mr. Ciro at uh, the booth. Uh, you can text him. You can request a meeting. You can share more information. You can find more information about Suprema on on the Vitra booth. Uh, thanks again, and uh, speak to you soon. Thank Thanks. you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.